by the name of Allah, we start our lesson for today. Hello, grade three. How are you? I hope you are fine and enjoy good health. Today, we'll complete unit four about nature. Lesson four, five, and six. So, as usual, I know you are smart, clever, and active as well. Let's start our lesson for today. So far, so good, my dear student. And let's see what we have for today. Actually, at the end of this lesson, student will be able to what? First, write words, identify speech marks, read short text, ask question about height, write measurements. So far, so, so good. So as a warm up, Let's see if you remember about our previous lesson. Okay, do you remember? Is it on or in the ground? Let's see and check your mind. First of all, who can tell me how many pictures do we have here? Yes, my dear student. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. We have eight pictures. Okay. Let's see. What are these? Who can read it? Yes, please. Apple, carrots, banana, onions. Okay, what about the second line? Who can read words in the second line? Mango, orange, potatoes, lemon. Again, now I want a student who can read it all. Yes. Apple, carrots, banana, onions, mango, orange, potatoes, lemon. So far, so good. Okay, now think about each one from this picture. Is it on or in the ground? Okay, so these all about nature. Think, what about apple? Apple, is it on or in? Write your answer and check it with me, okay? It's on. It's on. Okay, what about carrots? Hmm, carrots. Actually, in. Well done, my dear student. What about banana? Do you remember? It's on. It's on. Okay, grade three, I want from you to think about onions. I know, it's easy. What is it? N. What is it? N. Well done. What about mango? Mm -hmm. On. Okay, what about orange? On as well. Potatoes. Is it potatoes in or on? Actually, it's in. And the last picture that we have here, lemon, lemon, on, well done. Now, I want a student to tell me about on the ground. What are things that grow on the ground? We have apple, banana, mango, orange, lemon, apple. Banana, mango, orange, lemon. Well done. Okay, now I want other one to tell me about in, please. Carrots, onions, potatoes. Well done. Carrots, onions, potatoes. Well done. So far, so good. You did very well, my dear student. Okay, after this warm up, I want from you to open skills book page 32, activity two. 
I want someone to read, please, this question or the description here. Write the blunt words in the crossword. Do you like this game? I dig this game. So we have seven pictures or, or like seven parts with seven places to write the answer in. So you have to put a letter in each box, okay? We will start with A, the first one, one. Look at one, what is this? What do you think? Try to guess. That would help you to find the other answers. Okay, I will give you a hint, okay? It start with F, 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 F. So what is it? Yes, I hear it. Flower, flower, well done. Okay, look at two. We have L already. So what do you think? Mm, two, uh, these all, what do you think about it? Mm, I'll give you like a hint. The first sound is so what is it? We have P, then L. What's the next? Yes, I hear it. What is it? Blunt. What is it, grade three? Blunt. Well done. So we have flower, then we have blunt. Okay, what about three? We have E at the end, and we have one, two, three, four, like four spaces. What do you think? Look at three. Here we are. Mm. I will help you. I will help you. It starts with t, 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 t. Hmm. Then it ends with e. So the answer is three. Well done. Okay. What about four? We have er. Sound er. Letter r. What's the word? Mm. And it's for spaces. So what you think? Mm. I would like to help you. And the last one is T as I think. I'm not sure. Try to think. Okay, look carefully at four. The answer is root. Well done. If you had Got it, excellent. Okay, what about five? We have O in the middle, so what is it? Huh, what do you think? This part, what is it? So the answer is shoot. What is it? Shoot. So far, so good. Okay, what about six? Hmm, what do you think? Try to think. I'll show you the answer. Then check your works. Good job, grade three. It's leaves. Leaves. And the last one, seven, start with the sa and end with sa. Hmm, what do you think? The last one. Have you got it? Have you finished? Well done. Seeds, seeds. So what are the words again? We have flower, plant, tree, root, shoot. Then we have leaves. Then we have seeds. So far, so good. You have to familiarize yourself with this vocabulary and these words really useful and it talks about nature so far so good okay my dear student now look at page 33 in your skills book please explore when you see explore it means that we will discover something about our language so far so good okay who are these? These are two gears. 
these are two girls. Well done. Okay. Look. She is holding something in her hands. What do you think? What is it? Let's see. Okay. Now, who can read? When do we use speech marks? When do we use speech marks? It sounds interesting. I want to know what does speech marks mean? What about you? Okay, now let's read this dialogue and this small paragraph, then we will see. Look at this spider, said Haifa. Shamsa looked at the spider. That isn't a spider, she said. No, why not? Asked Haifa. It's got six legs, said Shamsa. Again, I want from you to focus with me. We have, look at this spider, said Haifa. Shamsa looked at the spider. Oh, that isn't a spider, she said. Why not? Asked Haifa. It's good, six legs, said Shamsa. Okay, look here. So they are talking about spider that she thought that it's a spider, but her friend told her that that isn't a spider. Okay, look here. We have this marks. We call it what? We call it speech marks, speech marks. Look where we put it, here, then we have it again here and there. So, focus with me. Speech marks show the word people are saying. Speech marks go around the words that people say. The first word in speech marks starts with a capital letter. With what? A capital letter. So to apply what we have learned now, look here. Who are these? These are two boys. And this is question mark. Who can read? Draw a line under the words that Osama and Khalid say. So, we have knew that, and we have known that this is Osama and Khalid, and they are talking to each other. So you have to underline their speech. Okay? So I will read it for you, and you have to hold your pencil, then draw a line, okay? Are you ready, grade three? Listen carefully. Osama and Khalid are playing a game of five questions. I am thinking of an animal, said Osama. Mm. Can it fly? Asked Khalid. No, answered Osama. Has it got four legs? said Khalid. No, mm, said Osama. That's two questions. Khalid smiled. Mm, it's a snake? he asked. Yes, it is, said Osama. You win. Again? Osama and Khalid are playing a game of five questions. I am thinking of an animal, said Osama. Can it fly? asked Khalid. No, answered Osama. Has it got four legs? said Khalid. No, said Osama. That's 
two questions. خال سمايل. آه، is it a snake? He asked. Yes, it is. Said Osama. You won. So, now, do you think Osama and Khalid are playing a game of five question? Is what they are saying? No. Actually, this is like giving a description about what happened and in general things. It's, n it's nothing to do with saying. So, I'm thinking of an animal, Sid Osama. We have word Sid, that means he's saying this. And then who's saying this, Osama. So the first line will be, I'm thinking of an animal. Well then, okay, what next one? Is it Osama? No. Can it fly? And we have speech marks here. So the second line will be here. Excellent. The third one, is it answered Osama? No. Because these words show that there is a speech is going on. So, no is the answer. Okay. Has it got four legs? Yes. Is it said Khalid? No. So, what's the next? No. Well done. Because Osama said this. Okay. That's two questions. Then we have speech marks. So, the, the other line is here. And like we have three left. So we have, it's a snake. Yes, it is. And for sure you won. Okay, again, so we have, I am thinking of an animal. Then we have, can it fly? No. Has it got four legs? That's two question. Is it a snake? Yes, it is. You won. Well done. So... Now you can apply it when you are writing and so on. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Do you remember our story? I hope yes you are. Okay, I want from you to look here and try to find any speech marks. Okay, so when we said, what is this? It's a seed, and so on. So you can underline each sentence. Okay, to double check, you can hear it at the same time while you are underlying this word. So let's hear it. One day, Biff was in the garden. He saw a lovely bird in the sky. The bird dropped something on his head. It dropped onto the ground. Biff picked it up. It was a seed. Biff showed the seed to Sammy. What's this? he asked. It's a seed said Sammy. What's a seed? asked Biff. It's what plants grow from, said Sammy. Oh, said Biff. What's a plant? There are lots of different types of plants, Biff, said Sammy. There are flowers and trees and fruits and vegetables. What type of seed is this? asked Biff. I don't know, said Sammy. Let's plant it and see. Sammy made a hole and planted the seed in the ground. Biff gave the seed water every day. <gasps> Look, the seed is growing. Oh, look, I've got a beautiful flower. It's red and yellow and blue and pink. Okay, so far so good, my dear students. So you can underline the speech marks and follow up the story that we have previously discussed about it. Okay, 
So it's your job right now. I'm sure you are smart and clever and you will do it. Okay, now don't forget about your spelling to remember you. We have new words like house, mouse, found, sound, loud. All of them have what? Ow sound. Again, house, mouse, found, sound, loud. So you have to spell them very well. To don't forget them, you can to put them in a sentence to link it to your mind. For example, I found a mouse in my house who made a loud sound. I found a mouse in my house who made a loud sound. Okay, my dear student, and even you can create your own sentence. I know you are so creative. Okay, so now in your skills book, page 34, look here. Who can read the title? Complete the life cycle of a plant. Who can read the words? We have plant, leaves, shoot, seed, root, flower. Again, plant, leaves, shoot, seed, root, flowers. These are like a parts of a plant, okay? But this is life cycle of a plant. Okay, first we have a seed, then who can read? The seed grows a, then the seed grows a, then the shoot grows some space. Then we have this is a, then other space. We have the plant grows a, then a space. Then the flower, the flower makes a, and then a space. Okay, put the words in the correct gap, okay? So think about the first one. We have a seed, then the seeds grows a plant directly. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't think so. What about you? What do you think? So seeds grows root. Excellent. Then the seed grows a root. The seeds grows what? After root we have what? Shoot. Okay, then the shoot grows some leaves. This is a plant. So this is the whole plant. Then we have the plant grows what? Each plant grows flower. So far so good. Okay, the last one. The flower makes a seed again. Okay. So far, so good. Can you repeat it again? The life cycle of a plant, start with a seed. The seed grows a root. The seed grows a shoot. The shoot grows some leaves. Then this is a plant. Then the plant grows flower. A flower actually makes a seed again. Okay, so you can give your presentation about this. This is uh, so interesting and I think your mates and your friends will like it. Even you can tell your family at home about this. This is really very interesting. Okay, we can apply this in a different way. Are you ready? Open your class book. Okay, open your class book, page 35, please. So look here. First of all, you have to write the date. And then you have to get your own plant because you will measure it and get your own information about it. Here we have how tall is your plant. And tell me, who are these? Sami, Naila, Maha. Okay, so let's listen what's going on, then we will back.
listening 4.3. How tall is your plant, Nayla? It's 52 centimetres tall. How tall is yours, Sammy? My plants... Mm, 70 centimetres tall. What about your plant, Maha? How tall is it? It's 38 centimetres tall. OK, so we will hear it for the second time. Listening 4.3. How tall is your plant, Nayla? It's 52 centimetres tall. How tall is yours, Sammy? My plants... Mm, 70 centimetres tall. What about your plant, Maha? How tall is it? It's 38 centimetres tall. OK, so they have a conversation and they have a discussion about the tall of each plant of them because they are helping each other and they have their own plant. So have you got the answer for it? Let's see. OK. So for Nyla first, it's what? How we got the answer? It's 52 centimeters. It's 52 centimeters. OK, what about Sami? Have you got the answer from listening? Yes, tell me. It's 70 centimeters. It's 70 centimeters. It's not 17. 70 centimeters tall. OK, what about Maha? Actually, it's 38 centimeters tall. Who has the shortest one ever? Is it Naila? No, Sami, no, Maha, because it's 38 centimeters tall. Okay, what about the longest one between them? Longest one. It's 70 centimeters tall for Sami. Well done. Okay, so Sami is taller than who? Than Naila. And Naila is taller than Maha. And Sami is the tallest one, but he has the tallest plant ever. Okay. While Maha is shorter than Naila, and Naila is shorter than Sami, so we can say that Maha has the shortest plant ever. Okay. So you can apply this also in your group and your class, even in your home. So find out and write. Find one child with a smaller plant. Find one child with a taller plant. So you can put a name, then the height of plant, okay? So for example, like I'll put any names, we have Ahmed. Ahmed, 20 centimeter. And we have Huda, for example. Huda is 41 centimeter. So we can say that Huda has the taller one or the tallest one, and Ahmed is the shortest one. Okay? So you can plant your own, then see how high is it. Okay? So far, so good. It's really very interesting, and you will like it and enjoy it if you try it. Try and make it and tell your teacher about it. Okay, so far so good. Now, we have like independent reading. We will have this text, then we will have a question about it. Are you ready for it? Let's see. All right, I will read the short text for you, then we will have a question about it. Focus, my dear students. Yesterday, Khalid sat crying when his friend saw him. 
he asked, Why are you crying? Why are you sad? Khalid said, I want to join the football team, but I didn't pass the selection test. His friend smiled and said to him, Don't give up. You must try a lot to succeed. Khalid said, How? His friend said, First, you must learn what your mistakes are. Second, it must be fixed. Third, don't stop practicing and trying. Fourth, you must learn. Khalid smiled and took the advice of his friend. Today, Khalid became a distinguished player. Everyone is clapping his hand for Khalid, the successful player and the six skillful player also. Khalid is a strong player. Khalid is always practicing in order to become a famous player. When he grows up, he likes sports very much. I will read it for the second time. Are you ready? Yesterday, Khalid started crying when his friend saw him. He asked, why are you crying? Why are you sad? Khalid said, I want to join the football team, but I didn't pass the selection test. His friend smiled and said to him, don't give up. You must try a lot to succeed. Khalid said, how? His friend said, first, you must learn what your mistakes are. Second, it must be fixed. Third, don't stop practicing and trying. Fourth, you must learn. Khalid smiled and took the advice of his friend. Today, Khalid became a distinguished player. Everyone is clapping his hand for Khalid, the skillful player. Khalid is a strong player. Khalid is always practicing in order to become a famous player. When he grows up, he likes sports very much. Wow, inspiration story. I hope you have learned a lot of it. So now we have some question. Who can read them? Yes, please. What are the characters of the story? So we're asking about people or person. Second question. Why was Khalid crying? So if I ask why, I'm asking for a reason. Okay, think about the reason. Why was he crying? Who is the person who helped Khalid? Who is the person who helped Khalid? And then what advice did the friend give Khalid? Did Khalid succeed? Okay, let's go with one question by one. All right, so we have what are the characters? Again, we ask about people or persons. So we have who? We have Khalid and his friend. So far, so good. Okay, why was Khalid crying? Why was Khalid crying? Think and try to get the answer from the text. Look here, he asked him, why are you crying? So what did Khalid say? say? He said, I want to join the football team, but I didn't pass the selection test. So even you write, he want to join football team, it's correct. Or even you said, he didn't pass the test, it's fine. Okay. So who is the person who helped Khalid? His teacher? No. His father? No. His mother? Mm -mm. Who is it? His friend, his friend. 
well done okay now what advice did the friend give Khalid what's the advice look is it why are you crying no why are you sad no so you must to try it to succeed so when Khalid say how he gave him some answer like what first you must learn what your mistakes are second it must be fixed third don't stop practicing and trying fourth you must learn even this advice you have to apply it my dear student here they don't give up never ever don't give up you have to believe about yourself you have to try many times even you didn't get it from the first time it will succeed once and you have to try it okay my dear student believe that you are smart and you can do it so you have to apply this all advice okay now did Khalid succeed at the end yes he did well done my dear student now we have something with the grammar like extract from paragraphs names adjectives past verb present verb pronouns are you ready yes here we are okay first of all give me some name from the story for sure the first thing that comes to your mind is what name of person like Khalid excellent friend well done we have other words like what football player is the name for a person who is playing we call them player for a singular a player for plural players players all right sports also and so on okay now think about adjective think about adjectives what adjective that we have here we have distinguished skillful strong famous let's see for example here we have a famous player player is the noun the famous is the adjective a famous player so excellent this is an adjective we have also distinguished player again a distinguished player then we have successful and also skillful a strong player and so on so far so good so again adjectives can be for nouns to describe a noun for example a beautiful girl a kind boy and so on okay what about past verb can you give me some past verb is it his no this is not a verb so could be learn no because learn if we didn't add ed for it it's still present okay so can you give me more than so try to think so we have so said smiled talk and so on so there is variety of verbs that we can use like smiled and so on okay all right we have present verb think about present verb we have is we have are we have try stop become loves like and so on so these verb are present okay what about give here don't give up give is it present or past it's a present because the past of it is gave what is it gave so give is also present okay what about pronouns can you give me some pronouns please think about it we have you and he and so on excellent my dear student you did very well i'm so proud of you okay so far so good so remember my dear students you can extract names adjective past verb present verbs pronoun and there is more than what we already mentioned here you have to read carefully and get the answer then check it with your teacher it would help you to improve your English as well and don't forget 
about this story because it's really very important. You maybe you will face difficulties and you face things that you think you will not pass it. But remember, you'll be able to pass it since you believe in yourself and you have confidence. Confidence is very important. Be confident. Confidence is the most important power in our life. Trust that Allah will help you always, my dear student. And if you help others, Allah will help you as well. Okay, my dear student, never ever give up. Try, try even you feel uh, if you feel uh, tired, okay? I trust you very well. I hope you, you enjoyed the class of today. And remember all lesson that we learned about nature and about this story, measurement, and so on. This is the end of our class. Inshallah, see you next time with other lessons, bi'idhnillah. Until that time, be safe. And don't forget, never ever give up. I trust you. See you.